I met Troy when I was 17. There was a lot of sacrifices that came with being in a relationship with a footy player, but we were together and I sort of just knew that we were going to get married and it was the first time Troy and I had been to Thailand when we came on our honeymoon. We basically walked from one side of the island to the other and walked into the tsunami. The agonising search for those Australians still missing has ended in heartbreak. One of the victims is AFL footballer Troy Broadbridge. Troy was a lot taller than me and he sort of held me up to his height and he just said, try and keep your head above the water. I felt his arm sort of leave me. It was the ultimate sacrifice in what Troy did when the water came because he put um, my life in front of his own. I just wanted everything to stop and, like, it didn't. <laughs>